draw the auto auto construct the true length of a triangle of a triangle I'll show you how to draw the true length of a triangle or the auxiliary inclined plane view and also the end elevation The first step to generate our end elevation is to produce the plan at an angle of about five degrees, then bring it up, then produce the front across at the points where the corresponding lines meet is our point. So the first step is to draw a line here at four to five degrees. So I'm gonna use this as a guide. So if this is that, four to five degrees would fall someplace here. I then bring these points across. This doesn't look very 4 to 5 ish, but of course it's a sketch. So next up is to bring these points vertically upward. Or next up is to or next up is to match corresponding point. So A from the plan goes across and meet with A here. This is point A. B comes across. B comes across and meets with B here. C comes across and meets with C here. I then join this is B, this is C. I then join A to B. And this is our end elevation. The next step is to generate it, is to find the true length of each side. To do that, let me just walk through this step a little bit. First, we draw a horizontal line from point A to cut this line here. At a point where the horizontal line cuts this line, we bring that point vertically downward to cut the corresponding line. At a point where it cuts, in this case, I label this M. I then draw a line, a radiator line from B through M and extend it outward. My next step is to draw a parallel line relative to this line at point A and point C. Once I've done that, to get the edge view, I step, well, no, I then draw this X1, Y1 perpendicular perpendicular or at right angle at right angle to these lines the next step is to transfer the measurements transfer these distance b here 
onto the corresponding point line here a there c here to get a straight line my next step now is to draw a perpendicular line to these draw lines perpendicular through these points perpendicular through there perpendicular through this point and perpendicular here now that i have done that the next step is to establish my my um auxiliary plane my auxiliary inclined plane number two x two y2 y2 <clears throat> and of course i'm going to apply the golden rule the rule states that the face that you're working on you step back two views to get your measurement so i'm working on x2 y2 so i then step back one two view so i will use these measurements i'll transfer these measurements to x2 y2 lines so first i start with a i transfer a onto the corresponding a line here this no a3 let's label this a3 i then go across to b B to here, then transfer that distance on the corresponding B line. So B, this is B, B comes here, starting here, that's B. Label this B3. I then go across to C and transfer C distance onto the corresponding C line starting here and this becomes C3 I then join these points B to C And that is the, this is the true length for each side. So this is also the auxiliary, this is the auxiliary, um, elevate auxiliary plan, auxiliary plan, and also the, which gives the true length for each side. Remember guys, if you find these videos use useful, remember to like and subscribe. And if there's anything that you'd like to see me cover, please send me a message.